Hello friends. Today we are gonna write an 32-bit operating system using x86 assembly language. For this, we need an assembler, emulator, and USB drive. See our last two videos on creating operating system and kernel in C. 32-bit is not much different from 16-bit instead it just allows to use more data than in 16-bit. Now the job of bootloader is to just load our kernel code. Our code is still dependent on BIOS interrupts which BIOS loads in memory as interrupt vector table. But operating systems rarely uses BIOS interrupts, instead operating systems have their own custom interrupts. Operating systems send and receive data to and from peripheral component interfaces and these all operations can be bind together with an interrupt instruction. We will do it a little bit later, let's keep our code simple. Ok let's start. First open web browser and go to create your own os.blogspot.com. Go to the github link to download source and images. On the top menu bar click on the 32-bit operating system link. There is a hello world program and explanation about how it works. On top menu bar click on x86 operating system calculator program. Last time in our C kernel code, we did some arithmetic and linked list operations, so let's create a user interface operating system calculator. Program that allow user to enter two numbers and perform operations according to the given choice. Alright let's write a hello world program using 32 bit registers. We need a stack for storing local variables and a heap for for storage which is generally used for dynamic memory allocation. Remember we have only one stack and one heap, there is a one to one connection of our program and memory. Operating systems allocate one stack and heap per process. But we are not there yet. So let's define read only data section. In this we are defining a stack variable holding maximum memory address value and heap holding minimum memory address value. Let's define a data section. A message that we want to print on the screen. Alright let's write a bootloader code. Clear the segment registers.
Load second sector into memory by calling disk interrupt. Clear all interrupts. Jump to our kernel code start point. Define boot signature. The job of bootloader is done, you can keep aside bootloader in another file. Okay, let's start out kernel code. Point the memory address stored in heap variable to EBP register and the memory address stored in stack variable to ESP register. Get the message variable address into EBX register. Push the address into the stack. Call print string function. Restore all the pushed values from stack. And finally halt the kernel code otherwise your code won't work because there is no stopping point. Ok let's write a print string function. We will still use by OS video interrupt to display something on the screen. Push the EBP register if you have stored something on the heap. Get the string variable address into EBX register from memory location EBP-8. EBP-4 memory address contains a memory address of a function in which it is executing by the call instruction. You can change it if you want. Define a counter which will iterate each character in the string. Let's use ECX for it initialized to zero.
and finally set the required disk space we need. 512 byte for bootloader and 512 bytes for kernel code. Ok let's assemble it using NASM and test it on Chemu. Attach the USB drive. Format it and boot the image file into it using DD program. Restart the machine and test it on actual hardware. Alright let's test the operating system calculator program. Open web browser and go to create your own os.blogspot.com. On top menu bar click on x86 operating system calculator program. Copy the source code from same page or download it from GitHub link with assembled image too. Assemble it using NASM and test it on Chemu.
Attach the USB drive. Format it and boot the image file into it using DD program. Restart the machine and test it on actual hardware. 